YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power 9 Quest. It has been too long since I've done a Pokemon opening and today I am busting a box of chilling rain. I have, I have not opened up this set yet. I know, I'm late to the party. Collector's Cash, which is an epic collectible card shop, sent me this. So thank you so much, Collector's Cash. If you guys need cards, they are such a reliable source and always have a decent price. Guys, they have been around since the late 80s. They are doing this because they love the card world. Go check them out. I'll put the link right in the info. And also, I want to tell you something kind of cool they're doing. And I, I can do it as I open this. Uh, we'll, we'll start cracking it right now. Um, but this is what the box looks like. It's a booster box. We're going to open up every single pack. My dude, Bayman, the Jedi, like the Yoda of Pokemon knowledge. And he has actually put together a course. He called me up and told me. He was like, I'm doing this course where I teach people how to, like, like what they need to know if they want to. This is a very durable plastic, side note. He called me up, he told me about a course he's doing, um, which basically, like, educates people on how they, if they want to get into the Pokemon world, whether it's collecting, investing, uh, making money off Pokemon cards. Um, it's, it's like a series of videos that tell you everything you ever need to know. They're pretty fast watches, and there's a handful of them, and it's only $30. A, a lot of the, the card games and stuff, like, when I'm trying to understand Stand him. I would love for something like this and he knows the Pokemon world better than anybody He's literally the dude that Logan Paul like calls up if he needs something or, or if he needs to know something He's been on Leon Hart's channel if you guys watch Leon Hart If you are at all interested in getting into the Pokemon world whether it be for knowledge of collecting or investing or Flipping cards yourselves to make money. I highly suggest you check it out I am an affiliate of this so it does benefit me if you guys sign up for this, but I truly believe in it I wouldn't sign up to be an affiliate for something. I don't truly believe in. Uh, Bayman is just such a genuine, good-hearted person, and he's really brilliant and smart, so I fully back this. Uh, and I'll remind you guys every once in a while, because uh, I'm sure it's, it's going to be up there uh, ongoing, and uh, it's a very cool thing. That being said, let's open these packs. I don't know much about this set, but I know that I want a golden secret rare Snorlax. It's been a second since I've done a uh, Pokemon video. Actually, I don't know when, where the last Pokemon video I did, but I was about to say like, hey, I haven't been in the kitchen opening up packs, which is true. Um, I am, it's been bugging me like crazy that I haven't been on top of uploading to the Power 9 quest, so I am very motivated uh, to do just that. Um, so expect more videos. In fact, I think I'm gonna have a video tomorrow, so be excited. It will not be a Pokemon video, but you'll have to come back and find out. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, just what it will be, a Snorunt, Venipede, Snover, uh, is that the reverse? No, we're not, we're one away. Oh, the Passamian, is that how you say it? Reverse Foil and a Galarian Slow King, Hollow Rare right off the bat. I did hear my buddy Casey, who, Casey, if you're watching this, we just text me and say avocado, and by the time you do that, I will forget what that means, but he was telling me that I guess the pull rates are really hard in Chilling Rains. Um, I know I see a lot of the ETBs online. Um, I don't know if those are hard to get in stores or whatnot, but let's take a second just to be thankful that whatever that whatever just happened in the retail world, Volcarona and a Galarian Wheezing, um, whatever happened in the retail world is calming down, you know, Target. Uh, not that I suggest you ever, you know, like oh, I, I'm a, I will always say, Go to your local game store and support them. You know, in fact, Collector's Cash is a physical store that you can support. So there you guys go. Um, but it is nice to see uh, your your stores that you go to all the time. Sorry, carrying Pokemon again. Oh, there's Letipa. Letipa. Well, okay, great. Um, there's a squirrel running away from some something. Crabrawler. Grookey. Score Bunny. Oh, back to back. We got the... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm seeing double. Score Bunny and a Banette. Um... I've actually been fortunate enough to find some, uh, I, uh, find some, what am I trying to say? Shining Fates. I like, was like, after I pulled the Charizard, I was like super, I was like, oh, it'll be easy to put together the set. And I, and I looked like, I actually got the cards out and put them in the binder. And then I realized how many basic shinies are in that seat, set. And I was like, whoa. I've got a long way to go, so slowly but surely, I'll probably, you know, I, I try to bust most things from, uh, we've got a Diglett, and we've got, I swore I saw, like, this set's messing with me, I, like, I've, twice now that I've opened a pack, and I thought I saw, like, a, you know, you see the, the, the line, you're like, oh, I got something good in this pack, uh, wow, well, so far, Casey, you are super right, there's nothing, I'm not getting anything, um, 
Uh, yeah, but Shining Fates, I, I'll, I'll bust as much as I can, and then eventually, like, if there's a few cards, I'll just suck it up and I'll, I'll buy them offline. Um, the singles, which is fine. I just really like busting them out of packs. Larvesta, Sobble, you, you were, we needed you in that other pack, okay? We got the Grookey and the Score Bunny back to back, and now you're here. Honestly, you look like you're crying, so maybe I made you feel bad, sorry. Melanie, and Graplocked Hollow Rare. Um... I'm actually, speaking of collector's cash, I, I actually meant to, because I got a um, base set box, okay? The market went down, I was like, all right, if I'm ever going to get one, right now is the time to get a base set box. So I got one, and it's a green winged uh, box. So I hit up Amen, and I was like, dude, look at this. I was like, I feel like I got too good of a deal on this. Oh, there's Crying Sobble. Um, Lady Pa. What? Why? Okay. Uh, Shaman, and we've got a Celebi V. We are officially in the V stack. There we go. Um, it's a, it's a nice looking card. I like Celebi. Um, and I was like, I was showing him it, and he was like, honestly, it looks pretty good, but I want to do a video, and this would be on my main channel. If you guys follow me there, I've actually got a really cool Pokemon video in mind on my main channel, so, uh, look me up. It's just my name. It's Andy Shrock. You can, you can find it. Type my name in. You'll be able to find it. I do a lot of skateboarding. I do a lot of lifestyle stuff. Uh, whatever I think is entertaining, you know, um, I, I throw up there. Uh, Heracross, Kalabapus. Oh, is that uh, Yukamori? I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that over here. Grookey, Sneasel, Vanette Hollow or Reverse Foil, and a Malamar. Okay, why would I put you here? You, you don't go there. Um, my gosh, it takes a long time to bust a whole booster box, doesn't it? We gotta go. We gotta get going. Um. Uh, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah, it'll be on my main channel. So I'm like, I might fly out there just to verify because I've got like, after the sale, I think right now, they're about to change this on eBay, but after you buy something on eBay, you have like 30 days to be able to say, this is not real. So I'm, I mean, who better? Like I immediately, I hit up Eamon and I was like, dude, uh, there we go, coughing, Zangoose. Um, I was like, hey, is this real? And he was like, honestly, it looks pretty good. Um, and I was like, well, here's an idea. I could just fly you and show you the box. But I honestly, I, don't, I also don't like the idea of flying with that box. And I'm not driving. They're in Kansas, I believe. Um, but I would love to, in general, go to Collector's Cash and hang out and look at the store. That'd be cool. Crushing gloves. Kirlia, Blitzel, Aaron, Deerling, Delibird, Larvesta, Avery, and a Weezing. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got a Celebi V, but... Man, the pools are pretty hard on this, isn't it? Uh, since it's been a while since I've, I've done a Pokemon opening... Um, it, or just a longer opening in general. I do need to... I, I can tell you guys about things. Oh my gosh. Well, the world's rotating again. I've been on a couple skate trips. First, we went to Texas. Um, we were in, like, the Fort Worth, Dallas area. Swirlix, Gengar, and Zebstrika. Um, and I just threw comments and uncomments everywhere. Uh, and it was really cool. It was just awesome. Like, it was the first... I don't know. I don't remember when it was. I think it was probably, like, April or May. And it was just like so crazy being out skateboarding. And that's what I do when I'm on trips typically, unless it's with the family that I'm just eating too much and playing in on the beach or wherever we are. Um, but it was, it was awesome. And then uh, like a couple weeks ago, it was probably three weeks ago, Thwacky and Spirit Bomb. Spirit Tom. Um, I went to Vegas at the beginning of the week just for like two days. And we, and it was hot. It was like 110 during the day. And then it was, um, like at night it was like a hundred degrees outside. It was pretty intense, but I am from Ohio where the, this, when it's 90 degrees, it's humid and it's awful. And I honestly prefer 110 degree heat more than I like humid heat here at home. Inkay, Snorunt, and oh, we hit something. Oh, it's beautiful. That is such a beautiful ice righty, ice, ice righty. Did you hear me say that? I said it. ice rider. Calyrex, VMAX. Hopefully, I don't know the prices on this set. I, I know the Snorlax isn't the best. I just saw that, and I know it's a hard card to get, and I was like, I want that. This Snorlax is fun. Um, but hopefully, you know what? We'll do a recap at the end. Ooh! Boom. All right, I will put a sleeve on this eventually, but there we go. All right, I feel like I got a good box. I heard Casey said, like, somebody busted a booster box and got one V, and I was like, that sounds awful. I That is a ripoff. Um, so I, there we go. Hopefully that guy, I know there's like three cards that are worth like a hundred plus dollars. So that's really cool. 
Um, I also like that they're they're stepping back from just Charizarding us to death. Um, I mean, we've got some really cool Tapu Fini and Malamar. We've got some really cool uh, Charizards recently, and it's cool to step back. And then we got the Pikachus in uh, Vivid Voltage, and it's cool to step back and just uh, let some other Pokemon shine. And so whenever they do bring Charizard back, it will be exciting. I'm sure they, they're, can I open this pack? Holy cow. I'm sure they strategize all of that appropriately. Um, I, although I heard battle styles, didn't battle styles just like, just go down in flames, like uh, value wise, like even the sealed product. That's a bummer. Uh, Ghastly, Kung Fu, Hatena, Sobble, Crying Sobble, Porygon, and whew, all right, you know what, Casey? I feel like I'm not doing too bad for this cursed set that we, we, we speak of. Um, we got a Tornadus V, which is one of the cooler names a Pokemon can have. Tornadus? My gosh. All right, we gotta open these fast. Boom. One, two, three, four. Uh, but yes, yeah, Vegas was really fun. I didn't skate super well. Um, I, mm, I love those energies that are all colorful like that. I didn't skate super well, but it was I didn't skate bad either. Um, there are some YouTube videos. If you guys want to go see my adventures, I have one that nobody watched on my... I mean, nobody watched in comparison to some of the views I get on other videos on my main channel. Um, but it's called I Flew 2,000 Miles to Skate Las Vegas, and it was a fun video. Um... That being said, compared to Power 9 Quest, a lot of people did watch it, and I had fun making it and, you know, existing for the filming. So, if you do check it out, thank you. Shuppet, Malamar, Reverse Foil, and Galad. Galade? That guy. Um, I am... Uh, and then after that, I, I got back from Vegas, and I was, I was here for, like, two, three, four. I was here for two more days, and then I went on, like, some um, week-long beach vacation with the family down to Florida. And I went to a place called Anna Marie Island. Doctor. That is the doctor card. And uh, Serena. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be some cute island that like, it's like, you know, time slows down. It's just like, it's not a... It, it might be touristy, but it's not like, it's not like, you know, Don Pablo's, then, then Olive Garden. It was just a lot of like, I don't know, cute, small life island vibe. And oh my gosh, there were so many people there. Easily the most crowded I've ever, I mean, we weren't like smashed up against people, but if you look down the beach, you're like, there's a Flannery. And then there was 10,000 more Flanneries on the beach because everybody was there. Um, but we weren't ready for like, we got there and we tried to call some restaurants to get a table and they were like, it's a three hour wait. And I was like, dude, I don't want to wait three hours for anything. Okay. I like, I used to wait three hours to ride my favorite roller coasters when I was a kid. I'm done. I'm not. So we ended up the first night ordering Domino's pizza, which, you know, I don't think there's a, there's bad pizza. There's good pizza. And then there's other pizza that you wouldn't describe as good. And I feel like that's where Domino's lies. Now, that being said, Domino's has some other good things. Like I got to my sandwich was awesome from there. Larvesta and Slurpuff. Um, but the point is, is that I waited two hours for Domino's pizza. And it, the whole rest of the week was like that. Like you, we would call a place and they were like, they wouldn't take reservations, but if you call it 530, it would already be like a three hour wait. And like, I basically describe it as there was 10,000 people on the Island and enough like in 400 spaces to eat dinner. So 400 seats to eat dinner in the whole Island. Uh, it was, it was pretty crazy. So we had to like leave. We had to go, like, go inland to eat a lot of times. Cast form and so viper um that being said i feel like especially as you get older vacations at least when you have responsibilities if you're one of those people that have responsibilities um you're one of those people that like the vacation's better after like a month later when you look back on it um if that makes sense to somebody you feel me and you also need the life to slow down if you're a kid or a teenager or even adult without responsibilities then you go on vacation is the greatest thing ever. Like you enjoy that. That's awesome. But as like an adult, you look back, you're like, that was such a great time. But when you're experiencing it, you're like, oh my gosh, it went by on a blur. And I was just trying to like stay sane. Uh, like my son, my two-year-old son, <laughs> like four o'clock one morning, he wasn't, he was in a bunk bed, but he was in the bottom bunk and he knows how to get out of a bed. But boy, he failed. And we woke up to him screaming at the top of his lungs because he fell out and landed on his face. And he's fine. That's why I'm allowed to laugh at this now because I just imagined him like, you know, like sleep, sleep, waking up and like, oh, I'm going to get out of bed, spirit bombing to the ground and landing on his face. And he has since recovered fine. He was fine. Like, you know, two minutes after it happened. But, uh, my gosh, 
poor guy. Uh, so things like that, you know, I'm dealing with things like that on vacation at all times. Here, even if he fell out of his bed, he would fall out onto a fluffy carpet and be fine. But Beach House, they were like, no, let's have fake hardwood floor on all of it. Uh, ghastly coughing, Delibird, Galarian Farfetch'd, Porygon, uh, Kecleon, and Sawsbuck. So, trips to come, I am going on a little lake trip with the family, which I'm excited about. I just hope I don't eat myself insane, which is what I do on trips. I do, I love food way too much. You guys have those ruffles? Those, those sour cream and cheddar ruffles? Those things are, like, stupidly good. Like, it's not fair how good those are. I don't usually eat chips, so, like, when I go on a vacation trip and I'm like, there's chips in front of me, uh, Lyron and Galurk. Um, it's, it's on. And then chips and salsa, there's a thing that if there's chips and salsa in front of me, like, I, I will just keep eating. I, I could do, I could eat chips and salsa for two hours. And if you didn't take it away, let's go another two hours. Like, it's insane. One, two, three, four. Um, Spiral Energy, Peony, Lyron, Porygon, Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Blitzel. Are, are we saying r r reindeers at this point? Swirlix and Sneasel and Snover and Blitzel. My gosh. Weezing and Agron. Okay. That was, that was too much. Although, I, I do want to point out that once I said, look, Casey, you're wrong. We haven't pulled anything good. We pulled Rudolph. That's it. All right. Let's go. Uh, what's happening in my home life, though, is that I'm desperately... What am I doing? I'm desperately trying to get ahead with my work. You know, when I go on vacation, it kind of, like, throws me... Oh, what's the screen doing? Okay. It throws me all out of whack, and I, like, I come back, and I, like, oh, well, I didn't work on vacation as much, so now I'm, like, just getting by, coughing, flannery, and greeting. Um, so, I've just been trying to, just to make videos, clean the house, which doesn't happen, uh, that type of crap, it's not exciting, it's not exciting, but every night, actually not every night, every night I get a little bit of wind down time where I sort cards and stuff, or maybe I've been trying to, for the flesh and blood monarch, I've been trying to pull that stupid, uh, legendary, or fabled card, and it does not, oh, we got something good, finally, Casey, eat this! Casey didn't have any opinion. He just told me, by the way. Single strike scroll of piercing and all uh, Zeriora V. Nice. Okay. I would agree, though. Like, if this is all we get, I, I you know, I, I, I feel like this is a little less, you know, we usually get some more full art. So maybe we'll get lucky here in the last few packs. We've got like about eight packs left. We've got an ETB left. Um, oh, there's Caitlin. Kakuna. Koopfu. Blitzel. Quillfish. Slowpoke, Weedle, Zebstrika, and Serena. Um, yeah, uh, but Home Life has been good. I've been, oh, yeah, I've been going for that stupid Fabled card. I, I, I On all the other... Uh, uh, if you guys play Flesh and Blood, there's like one... Which I like about that game. There's like one card that's like one in every 500 packs. Um, honestly, it does kind of remind me of like some of the harder Charizards to get. But like one in every like 50 booster boxes have these... Uh, these fabled cards, and I got really lucky on the first three sets. Cast form, and oh, Casey, take that. This is a good box. We got the Santa Conda V Max. It looks like an ice cream cone with a snake head. That's honestly kind of what it looks like, and I'm excited. Look at that. Boom. Um, that's my new thing. Whenever I pull something good, I'm just gonna say, Casey, eat that, even though he's a very supportive friend that does never wishes doubt upon me, uh, at least when it comes to this. Um, and he has stupid, like, he, you, you guys, I, I will, uh, one day I should do a video with him, and you guys can, like, go check out his stuff, but he has stupid luck. Stupid, stupid luck with Pokemon. Uh, Score Bunny, Shuppet, Ghastly, Galarian Weezing, and I got a bunch of my stuff finally back from Beckett, graded. It took, oh, like, eight months, nine months. It's insane. Uh, I got it back. I should show you guys my grades. Uh, I got a lot of base set stuff and a lot of Charizards, most of them are evolutions, but um, a handful of uh, stuff that's worth looking at. Lapras, Deerling, Galarian Slowpoke, Coughing, Galarian Yamask, Porygon 2, and Passamion. All right, we got five packs left. Will we get the, go the, the gold Snorlax? I would be happy. One, two, three, four. Um, oh, also, I, I have a friend in town, Jason Park. He is usually in Hawaii, and he is in town, so I've been filming skate videos with him, and that's been a lot of fun. Snorunt, Bounce Sweet, Koopfu. Oh, my 
gosh, I think this isn't it. But isn't uh, Blazikon, Blazikon, well, however you say it, uh, the VMAX version? Isn't that like the best card in the set? Dude, I got a good, this is a good, this is good. This is good, okay? I'm hyped on this, this box opening. All right. Especially if that's true, if someone busted a whole booster box, maybe it was an ETB, um, and just got one V. Like, this is, I feel like I did pretty good. I should start talking about my dumb details about my life more often and do longer videos. Maybe that's where you get the pools. Uh, but it's so hard to get Pokemon sometimes. It's like, well, I only have 12 packs, sorry. Um, one, two, three, four... Um, oh, speaking of my friend Jason Park, I'm actually headed to Hawaii in a few months to skate and film over there, and I look forward to it. Hawaii is always a fun trip. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever had a Poke Bowl? Dinah Tree Hill and Ampharos. Um, we always start our days by getting Poke Bowls and then skating all day and going to the beach. And the, well, Why are these cards here? These cards are just like sitting in my, uh, in my like stack of wrappers. One, two, three, four... All right, and we're, oh, Impact Energy, Path to the Peak. I thought that said Path to the Path, which, honestly, I feel like that should be a card. We haven't uh, picked a Good Luck Charm out of this. <laughs> Ironically enough, this guy's face was next, and I feel like he wants to be the luck, Good Luck Charm, so, all right, sure, Spiel. Um, fire Resistant Gloves, and, oh, 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 is this it? I gotta look it up, is this it? Oh, my gosh, that is beautiful. Holy Captain Cowboys! Oh my gosh! Dude! What the heck? I think that's it! I think it's the best card in the set! We got one more pack too! Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna go straight to it. I don't care. Oh my, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just more! Sometimes I do that. After I pull something good and I'm just like opening packs, I'm like, I'm not, I'm just going. Let's do a recap. That was awesome. Dude, write it. I pulled, it is, it is the best card in the set. Look, it's an alternate art Blaziken VMAX. Alter art? What does that mean? Yeah, well, I don't have the, the normal art to show you, so. So this is the big dog. It's like 100, TCG is saying market 130 bucks. And then these were a little over $10 each. And then all the other Vs and VMAXs I got totals out to be about $164, which you can get this box for cheaper. And Collector's Cash was nice enough to give me this for free, so. Holy cow, home run. I, I pulled the best card in the set first try. Not first pack, but the very first video I did on Chilling Rain, I pulled it first try. I've never done that. Not yet. Well, now I have. I've done that right now. Thank you so much for watching that. I am back doing Power 9 Quest videos, so stay tuned for more. I've got a Vivid Voltage box that I've been meaning to open. I've got a bunch of Champions Path to open, but as new sets come out, you know I'm gonna get onto it, so let's go hunting for some cards. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching this, and like I said, if you do are interested in getting into the Pokemon world, it's weird that you can actually make a decent side living doing Pokemon cards with relatively little time. Um, so if this interests you, check out Bayman's uh, Poke Course right in the info, and I'll keep talking about it, um, but I'll keep opening packs is the more important thing. Thank you so much. Collector's Cash, Bayman, you for watching. We're done. I'm gonna go get some sleeves. Okay, it has been too long. There is one new Pokemon video for you. It is done now. You're at your came a long way. You're at the end. So uh, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. That would mean a lot. If not, you are either already hit it or you've decided not. And that's fine. And so are Twizzlers. You know, they're not great. They're just fine.